Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Matt. I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. And welcome to Silent Hill 3, White Girl Problems, the ha game. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag White Girl Problems. problems. Alright, yeah. so today we are kicking this off with a unique take on this. What? We're just going to straight up take the piss out of this. Uh, and well why, said, Heather. Why'd that happen? <laughs> why was there a moment? Because we just did a Konami Code entrance. Oh, you can only no. do this once in a, no, in a new game plus. Is this the... By uh, the way, is there is, there's going to be some missing footage. Why? Missing footage? Normally, when you start off Silent Hill 3, you're in a nightmare segment. Yeah. In an extra new game, you bypass that. Huh. Why? Because I figured you're already seen it and you'll need to yep. do it again. Is it like a tutorial sequence? Kind of, yeah. Like so it's nothing really okay, not missing. Really lost. Well, that's what you're here for, Matt. So yeah. Basically, you run through what looks like a abandoned amusement park where OSHA was pretty much just uh, fucking four goofy letters put together, and then you get you avoid getting killed by a roller coaster. Yeah. By jumping off of it and falling to your death. Now, you uh, just for clarification, we are playing this on the original PlayStation 2. Because there's no fucking way in hell. Uh, fuck we me. forgot so, subtitles. So, well, we can turn those on after this cutscene's over. But, so, I understood why you guys avoided the HD version of Silent Hill 2. Yes. And I've seen it for myself, why you avoid the HD version of Silent Hill 2. What was Silent Hill 3's reasoning? Cut freezing. Cut, it kept freezing. Kept so it was free just, it was they just kept unstable. freezing, and they replaced Vincent's voice actor. No, they put, they replaced all the voice actors. Yeah, they did. That was all. They replaced all the voice actors. It kept freezing. Um, it, it was just an unoptimized mess. It looked too clean too. Too that, I know that's something that you. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I agree because in a horror, in a horror movie, whether it's physical survivor horror or psychological horror, it benefits if there's like a grainy yeah. film texture to with, it. With the HD version, you can tell what everything is. Yeah. Which kind of removes some of the allure and mystique. Yeah. yeah. Which, I'm um, funny enough, the the new voice actors that did Heather for the HD version. Actress. Yeah, I said actress. You said actors. It could be an actor. I said actress. <laughs> but, but I know what I said. The, the same person who the same person who voiced who was the voice actress for uh, Heather in the HD version is the one that sings the song. The main theme song for this game. Yeah, which I we had to <laughs> unfortunately admit because it's a uh, it's most idea. likely a Continent ID song. Yeah, which I admittedly know more of the DDR mix <laughs> from Dance Dance Revolution. This I is Douglas. Say, He's a private eye. Had it, Douglas? Yes. Why and is he not wearing pants? The Konami code. The <laughs> Okay, so that's what that bone was in the beginning yeah. of the yeah. game. You put the Konami. You can only do it after you beat the game once. Yes. You can only do a lot of these things in this game after you beat it once. Yeah. That's what this road, this road is going to be. This isn't going to be a proper, let's uh, explore Silent Hill 3 the way it meant to be played. No, we're taking the straight up piss out of this. Yes. yes. <laughs> because we can. It makes him look like he's a fucking creepy dude hitting up a prostitute. Dude, wearing up the flasher coat. Like Dude, not only that, not only that, yo, it's a fuck. She's like what, sixteen, seventeen in this game? I, I, how old is Heather? I think she's like sixteen, seventeen. I'm about big, seventeen. That's seventeen, I would say. Yeah. Dude, that f you know, with the Konami code, it puts a whole spin on Douglas's interpretation. <laughs> Come on, I know you're going for that dang bush. <laughs> and there's also a booty shot. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. <laughs> I'll wait here. <laughs> I gotta hear more of the voice, but that sounded straight up Cookie Monster for a second. Now, in the HD version, the uh, the guy who voices Douglas sounds like the the red haired cop from South Park. You may notice my uh, head glowing a bit yeah, here with the seal of Metatron. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. And meanwhile, <laughs> these little splatters here, save, save points. points. Yes. This is also the game that based Silent Hill Revelations, the movie, a total piece of shit. Oh boy, I I, I feel some baggage in that one. <sighs> the mall toilet. Where did you save today? <laughs> I gotta go drop a save. I'm dropping a save myself right now. Yeah. He's on, the second, save files. on the second floor hall. When was the last time you played Silent Hill 3? Uh, recently. Oh, for, the, for this last play? Yeah, for the last play. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's uh, use the toilet. Hello. Oh, never mind. Oh, someone's in there. Someone's in here. Do I have to scream? Oh, sub <laughs> if, uh, uh, Matt, subtitles. Oh, right. Good night. Good. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, yeah, if you don't have the map, you uh, never use it. <laughs> if you don't have the map, you can't. Subtitles. <laughs> yes. So let's see if we can turn these little bastards on. I know they got to be there. Subtitles, that's, there we go. We're also going to go to Bullet Adjust 3 because I'm not wasting too much time. <laughs> All right. What's Bullet Adjust 3? You get more ammo. Oh, okay. You can just change that in the options menu? Yep. It's a secret option menu, though. Oh, you have to beat the game? No. <laughs> anyway, I also unlocked a whole bunch of t-shirts. We're going to be trying to wear some of these around here. This is a special one we'll do a little later. And meanwhile, let's. what do you guys want me to wear right now? Well, my first question is, how'd you get all these? You have to pop in passcodes. We, we, now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to find them throughout the town. 
and you're supposed to um, pretty much beat the game, get a new code for it. I said, fuck that, went on the internet, and here we are. Yeah. <laughs> well, Matt, you're leading the last playoffs. So why don't you choose first? All right, I'm going to kick off with God of Thunder. This is a unique one here. You're supposed to beat the game and retain like a perfect on the perfect uh, hard difficulty mode. Yeah. I mean, like a really high, high, if not perfect score for this. Yeah. Or you could just do the fucking what I did and internet. <laughs> and internet. Totally. So it's all I'm like. I'm actually going to wear a killer rabbit fur. No, you know what? I want the red one. I want the So it's all like button input of codes. That you no, put it's in a, I'll, or... I'll show that off to you when I okay, get a shot. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, let's just change our duds here. And I'm rocking something very simple here black and red. Cool. Now, there should be a shout out here if I can. If I can just get in the right stall. Or am I in the right room? No, it's probably, no, it's no you have to be difference. in a different place. It, right. was, it wasn't the mall, because I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a, it's a shout out. Oh, okay. Now, now we're going to come all the way over to here first and grab an infinite ammo submachine gun. Bye-bye, <laughs> 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 challenge. <laughs> Shit, I mean, you, don't you find those lying around the alleyway every now and then? <laughs> don't I, you? I, this I, is a bad neighborhood. <laughs> okay, question. <laughs> yeah. Given our Silent Hill experience on this channel, you know, we did Shattered Memories, which is a reimagining of the first game. We also did two. And we also did Silent Hill 2 a couple of years ago. We know who Heather is. Do they play that as a secret for this game? For this for the sake of this, they do. Yeah. They do play because that as a secret. Because it works on it works on the fact that this is you never played Shattered Memories. Yeah. Which is to be expected, honestly. But yeah, if you but if you've watched our Shadow Memory Let's Play, then you already kind of know who Heather is. Yeah. But yeah. We'll keep it silent for now. Eh, silent. We'll keep it <laughs> silent for now, just for the we'll sake. We'll keep of it over the hills. Now. We'll keep it over the hills. Yeah, pretty much what it is. It plays as a sequel to Silent Hill One, instead right? Of Silent Hill Two. Silent Hill Two is its own little thing. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, this dives back into cult business, which I don't really. I'm not kosher about. I prefer the um. Wait, Silent Hill, Hill One, Silent Hill Two did it. Well, Silent Hill Two was all psychological. That's yeah. the, and that's where this yeah. and that's where Silent Hill really shines. Pistol. Don't you find pistols? So in your clothing got a with ammo. <laughs> the, themes of, <laughs> the themes of this game are honestly femininity and uh, maternity, so to speak. You'll see why later. Oh, I thought we were playing Silent Hill, not Other M. Oh uh, no! But first, this game does it better. Meet the closer. Hey, these these are dicks. <laughs> They're straight up brawlers. They're slow as shit, but needless to say, one look at those arms will tell you, uh oh. Well, their mouth kind of looks like a vagina. Yeah. I don't know if I should put a sensor bar over it, but. Okay, now I know I don't know whether that's because we didn't go through the tutorial part of the game, but we're just kind of thrown into this, aren't we? Yeah. You see these things in the uh, nightmare sequences. The first time I actually see it in yeah. real life. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, I thought you had infinite ammo. <laughs> No, it's only the pistol. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It dropped dead. I was like, this is the part where you fall down. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's new. He's he did, he missed his cues. Those are five hundred dollars sunglasses, asshole. And Heather's also got a very dry wit. Like she'll freak out at first, and then she'll just adapt to it. Yeah, but then look at James from Silent Hill too. It's not a zombie. Uh, uh Johnny. <laughs> What's up? I'm not doing anything. Up oh, there it goes. Yeah, you now you're doing something. I monster. I, I killed it. I killed it with my arms. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, come around here. You get some um handgun bullets. Right, which we're not gonna use because I have a submachine gun. Yeah, you have an, you have unlimited ammo for that submachine gun. Is it your panic button? No, it's just is your be... submachine gun is your panic button? It's like, oh, you want me to... you... It's your, your submachine gun is your oh shit button. <laughs> no, the submachine gun's gonna be my fuck. We got shit to do button. Sure. Having said that, swing right here first, grab a map. This is going to be your little buddy. I wish we had like that door, the explorer little guy here for this, but this is pretty much what you're going to be pressing. Your, that's your triangle button. 89% of the game is going to be you pressing the triangle button. So now we got to find our way out and around. All right. And of course, this return, and of course, it returns with the broken doors. Okay. Well, Elliot, do me a favor. So come around, turn the monitors behind you off, so that Matt doesn't have to deal with that glare. Okay. Uh, how do I do that? Yep. Do you see the blue lights in the bottom right of the monitors? Yep. Just hover around them. They're pressure sensitive. Okay. While Elliot deals with the glare, I gotta deal with a new monster. I gotta deal with the scares. Ooh. <laughs> we got. We got fight. We gotta deal with booze. Numb bodies. These are. Oh, uh, little numb bodies. Yeah. You press a uh, select. You come up to these. <laughs> now why weren't they in the movie? 
Why were these bastards there? How many times are you going to say that throughout this Let's Play, I wonder? What are you comparing it to? Like, the original, the, the first Silent Hill movie? Or was there only one? There was two. There, there was, was Silent that? Hill and then Silent Hill Revelations. I'm comparing Revelations to this, to three, because that's what it was based off of. Now we're going to come over here, and this here would normally just be like a locked door. Beat the game once, the doorknob becomes weird, it comes off, and you get a beam saber. What the fuck? A the beam what? A lightsaber. It's a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is with the lightsaber... It and the flamethrower have unique properties in that once you manage to beat the perfect game. Fuck is that? That sounds like the door knocking. Huh. Anyway, there's a key there. Unfortunately, we can't reach it. We need something to give that for us. One thing the map does, it saves these things for you so you yes. know to come back here. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Did a helicopter pass by? Seems like it. No, that's that's a background music. <laughs> I know. It's kind of your you It was. You can feel that. Totally. Oh, dog. This introduces a gameplay mechanic here. You see, the dog was hovering over this. No. Heather. <laughs> it's like get out of the Heather. Way. <laughs> You're blocking it. <laughs> this is beef jerky. If you put that down in front of some of the monsters, particularly the feral ones, they'll go after the beef jerky rather than you. Oh, Makes for a good little distraction. Eat. Monsters are gonna eat. Yeah. Well, yeah monsters gotta eat. Yeah, I, was, uh, I don't know why I immediately think of, like, I go to immediately to ghosts and stuff like this. Uh, when I say, yeah, they're just straight up monsters. Ghosts, ghosts are a thing in four. Yeah. Hmm, okay. So far as the paranormal one. Uh, yeah, in the loosest sense of the word. <laughs> which, <laughs> which, Helen's Bakery. Sense, Let's head in here. Which then, Silent Hill 4 wasn't really supposed to be a Silent Hill game. Well, that could explain I'll it. take it. Meanwhile, we get what we need here, a flamethrower. God You're just it. finding all of these weapons of mass destruction inside this one area. Helen's toasted, Helen's toasted dead toasted. right on your very right to your very door. Now, as I was saying earlier before I got sidetracked, those two weapons, once you achieve a perfect ranking, tongs. they become much, much more powerful. Why do you have tongs? Why don't you have tongs? I now, guess. I can at least show them off at least once, though, if I can, provided there's a closer nearby. Poor Helen. Was she, like, toasted dead? Totally. Closer. All right, let me see if I can show off the flamethrower. <laughs> I was like, wait. Now, the flamethrower is very weak, but it does... But it um, it does, however. Oh, wait, should I missing? <laughs> Are you sure? It looks like you're hitting it. It's a very tall motherfucker. Yeah. So it's pretty much what it's like. You just long arms like boxing gloves? Yeah. Later on, they'll do a spin attack. Hear it? Yeah. Yeah, it's I missing. It. So we're going to switch this off. Wait, you can tell it's missing just by audio cues? Yeah. yeah. The monster won't are. That's how you know you're hitting it. So we're gonna spin back around, come back out through here, and we're gonna go right through the double, right through the door here, back to where we gotta go. Okay. So, I mean, to jump the gun a bit here, on the Silent Hill totem pole, with two, most obviously, with you guys being on the very top of it, where does three rank? It's pretty close. That's yeah. It. Like would I you said, say this... three is the one holding up two in the totem pole. Three or... hold. I would say four. In my opinion, four holds up two on the totem pole. In a weird way, like this game is good. Like, don't get me wrong. We, the only reason why we're not even making this any scary is because we came in this with the whole intention of taking a piss out of it. Yeah. But um, this game is actually pretty decent in its own right. I just prefer the storytelling of four and two more than this one, because four four storytelling works best by not telling its story at all. It lets you create your own. I like it. Lets you create your own. It lets it throws just enough breadcrumbs for you to get the idea of what's going on in four. Although it's married with some monumentally bad gameplay decisions. <laughs> Curious about what those are when we get to it. Uh-oh. Hey, guys. All these guys could do is body ram you. Yeah. How you guys doing? Dude, they're like walking sphincters. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not trying this run, so <laughs> I don't care about my ranking or whatnot. <laughs> Why don't you care? Uh, what are you ranked in Silent Hill 3? Oh, you're ranked... You, it's like Silent Hill 2. You're ranked depending on whether or not you use special weapons, how many healing items you have, how much damage you take, shit like that. Almost like Resident Evil. Totally, yeah. except Silent Hill's really fucking anal about that. <laughs> Why don't you care at this point, Matt? I said once we've already gotten the... um, Once we're already using the uh, special weapons here... Okay, we're taking the piss out of this game. Yeah. More than... Uh... They also have blades in their, in their punching bag, so they can get a little extra reach. So don't stand close is pretty much the general gist of these creatures. Yeah, despite their being called closers. Yeah. 
Well, that no, that's what they're trying to do to you. Close the distance. Yeah, get close the distance. We're gonna have they have punching bags with knives in them. <laughs> There's a meaning behind what they look like and why they're doing what they're doing. We'll explain that later. The hands look like sock and boppers. They were sock and bopping players as kids. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm 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 hitting the nail on something. <laughs> You're hitting the nail on fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find I'm trying to remember where the fuck that bookstore was. It's up here. Boutique. Mannequin. What's this say? Cafe, Cafe. Paradise. There it is. Noon. Best sellers. Remember borders. Yeah, so uh, I remember borders. I remember. Well, Barnes and Noble is still a thing. Yeah, yeah. Barnes and Noble is still a thing. Um, this here is really one. This here is one of the first dick puzzles in the game. Because here's the the thing with this puzzle is that you need to have a very keen knowledge of William Shakespeare. Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically, is it the obvious ones like no. Hamlet, Othello. In normal, in normal, the riddle is fair is foul and foul is fair. Put the books out of order. Here's okay. hard. In here is a tragedy, art thou player or audience. Be it as it may, the end doth remain. All go on only toward death. The first words at thy left hand, a false lunacy, a madly dancing man, hearing unhearable words, drawn to a beloved's grade, and there may have true madness at last. As did this one playing at death, find true death at last. Killing a nameless lover, she pierced a heart rent by sorrow. Doth lie in thy truth, doth verity but wear the mask of falsehood. Ah, oh, thou pitiful, thou miserable ones. Still amidst lies, though the end come not, wherefore yearn for death? Will thou attend to thy beloved? Truth and lies lie in the life and death. A game of turning white to black, and black to white. Is not a silence brimming with more love, more precious than flattery? A peaceful slumber preferred to those a throne be smirched with blood. One vengeful man spilled blood for two, two shed tears for three, three disappeared thusly, and only the four keys remain. Five golden rings. <laughs> this is one of those kind of things you get punched for if you ever do this <laughs> bullshit in the fucking workforce. So basically, we got to figure out what numbers are correlating to what. Now, normally, here are the five books right here. Unfortunately for us, with one exception, Heather does not read Shakespeare. Nope. So she has no idea what they are either. <laughs> I know the second one. That, I know the second one that came up was Romeo and Juliet. All right, now, now here's the thing. Ow! Ow. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna figure this out because we're gonna cheese it in a different way, in the sense of we're gonna look at the other. Uh, first, we're gonna look at the lyric poem again. Okay. And we're gonna piece together which book goes to what. Now, first and foremost. There is going to be at least one of them you're going to need to know some basic Shakespeare off of. For, pray for say you don't know this one. Yeah. We'll move on. This is obvious. You yeah. have to have lived under a fucking rock or you dropped out of school at third grade not to know Romeo and Juliet. Yes. This one here is the only one that has an actual line from the book itself proper. But it's also correlating to the one that Heather knows. This is Macbeth. Uh. This one here is a game of turning white to black and black to white. That's also Othello. Yeah. And the fifth one here, with a sm with a throne besmirched with blood, you got King Lear. So you can deduce that the last one is Ham, that the first one would actually be Hamlet. Okay. So let's pop this shit in. <laughs> Rocky one, Rocky two, <laughs> Rocky three, Star Trek six. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Now that's that what you got to do. Sequel. Unfortunately, now this is kind of my short side. I never remember which one of these is the books they are. Our right, first one's Romeo and Juliet, King, King Lear. Lear. Macbeth. This one is Othello. I, oh, this Hamlet. is Hamlet. Hamlet. Fifth one is Othello. All right, so we're going to use them. First things first, Hamlet will go into slot one. Romeo and Juliet, slot two. Uh, Fuck, where are the other ones? I'm trying to remember what the other one is. King Lear. King no, Lear. I know, no, I know. King, King, King Lear was second. No. Uh, Wait. Oh, I think I know what you're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're right. This is the second book. That's going to be five. This is going to be three. And this is four. <laughs> Five, four, three, one, two, three, four. <laughs> King Lear was the second one, right? Yeah. Macbeth was uh, three? Yeah. And and we, got foundation, we burn this book. <laughs> now, we're not quite done yet. One vengeful man spilled blood for two. So that's Hamlet's number. That's four times two is eight. Yeah. Two youths shed tears for three. One times three, three. three. Three wishes disappeared thusly. That's three. And we're left with the passcode 8352. Fucking hell. Yeah. And that's puzzle one. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait. I mean, at what point does it become like tricky dicky and just straight up obtuse? So wait, why are you taking the book with you? 
I'm gonna need something to read. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, I wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, it gets oh, it without gets funny. Guide, wait till guide. wait till we get to the fucking um. <laughs> wait till we get to the fucking hospital. Puzzle. I hope you know how to juggle in real life with chainsaws. <laughs> I'll put it back. With, anyway, with, chains- we, with chainsaws on fire. <laughs> wait till we get to the fucking hospital puzzle. You're gonna love that one. I, I believe you. I believe you. 